Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take a look at something that we talked about uh, in class that is maybe a little disturbing. And it's this, if we shoot a bullet horizontally, very far away, it's going to eventually drop to the ground. What if I take that same bullet and where I'm standing, I just drop it straight to the ground? Okay, here's our ground level. Which one is going to hit the ground first? Well, it turns out they hit at exactly the same time. Now, it's kind of hard to fire a bullet perfectly horizontally, of course, but let's say you can do it. All right, you fire this thing perfectly horizontally, and it goes way far away. It goes like a football field away. Does it really take the same amount of time as if I dropped the bullet straight down? Well, maybe. Let's convince ourselves. These are both projectiles, right? As soon as they leave the gun or my hand, they are both projectiles. And so they are governed by the projectile equations, which are the kinematic equations. X final equals X initial plus VXI times T plus one half AX T squared. And Y final equals Y initial plus Vy initial times t plus one-half a sub y t squared. Now let's think about this x equation for a second. In the case of bullet, we'll call this one number one and this one number two. Horizontal bullet is number one. Drop bullet is number two. In the case of bullet number one, what do we have? We have x final equals, where it started, 0 plus Vxi times T plus 0. For bullet number 2, we have 0 equals 0 plus 0 plus 0. Not a lot of information in that equation right there, right? Except to confirm that 0 does equal 0 no matter how many zeros you add to it. So that's good. What about over here? For bullet number one, Y final is the ground. Y initial is however high we started from. We can call that H. VY initial is zero if we fire it horizontally. AY is, of course, G. What about bullet number two? Bullet number two, Y final, is zero. It's on the ground. Y initial is H. VY initial is zero. We dropped it from rest out of our hand. AY is minus one-half GT squared. So look, those two equations are exactly identical. Okay? The y equations for the fired bullet versus the drop bullet are ex exactly the same. And so you can say, ah, oh, t1 has to equal t2. Those equations are exactly the same. And in fact, you can solve one of them to, to get t. It's not that complicated. The difference is in the x equations. One of them travels very far in that amount of time in the x direction. The other one doesn't travel anywhere in the x direction. Okay? So it's a little counterintuitive when you first think about it, but if you remember that these equations are decoupled, the x motion is decoupled from the y motion, then it makes sense. Okay, is that clear to everyone? All right, good. If not, definitely come see me in office hours. Cheers. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for coming.